I've been experimenting with a do-it-yourself drip irrigation system using plastic soda bottles and I finally got it to work. It took a little trial and error as I will show you in this video. These are my jalapeno peppers sunning out on the deck and they're staying happy with these soda bottles filled with water, slowly dripping water to the roots of the plants. You might wonder what is the point of using a drip irrigation system? Why don't you just water the plants with a hose? Well, there are several very good reasons why people set up a drip irrigation system. One is to save water. By placing the water drip right near the roots of the plants, you don't waste water by watering soil outside of the plant's growing area. When you use a hose or a sprinkler, the water goes all over the soil, not just where the plants are and definitely not just where the roots are. The drip system also minimizes the evaporation of water by keeping the water in the bottle until it all drips out. So that's one very good reason for using a drip irrigation system to save water. A second good reason for drip irrigation is to maintain a consistent flow of water to the plants so they don't experience dry periods followed by lots of watering and dry again. This can really stress out a plant. By setting up a drip system, the plants are always getting water at just the right amount they need. One more reason you might want to set up a drip system is to make sure the plants are watered even when you go away for a day or two. If you use a larger bottle, not these two liter soda bottles, but maybe a 10 gallon container, then you can leave and have your plants watered for many days without worrying about it, depending of course on the size of your reservoir. So let's take a look at how I set this up. All you need really is some plastic bottles. I used two liter soda bottles. Any container really, as long as it's empty of course, and washed clean is even better. You will also need a knife to cut through the plastic, a nail, and a pair of pliers. Now all you need to do is poke a hole in the cap. Sounds simple, but it's actually not so simple. How many holes? How big should the holes be? This is where the trial and lots of error comes into play. To start, and here is the trial and error part, first I poked one hole with the nail in a soda bottle. Poking a hole is the easy part. Just hold the nail with the pliers over a flame and when you see it glowing, you know it's hot enough to melt through the plastic cap and make a hole. I pushed one hole into the caps of a couple of soda bottles and tested it out on my Roma tomatoes. I pushed the bottle cap side down, of course. I pushed the bottle down into the soil and assumed the water would drip out from the hole in the soil. But the upside down bottles did not look like they were dripping out any water. So I decided that one hole was probably not enough. My bad. And back to the trial and error part. This is where I went a bit overboard and punched way too many holes in this cap. Within an hour, all the water had dripped out. Then I realized that the first water bottle trial, with just one hole in the cap, was probably sufficient, but the hole just got clogged with soil, which was preventing the water from dripping out. I also came to realize that the hole I made in the first cap, if it wasn't plugged up, allowed the water to drip out too quickly. I needed to make a smaller hole. Here's my sewing kit to the rescue. I found the smallest, thinnest needle and poked a hole through another cap. Thank goodness I know someone who drinks a lot of soda and was happy to contribute to the cause. The hot needle goes through the cap quite easily, just like a hot knife through butter. The drip rate seems just about right. Now I have to figure out how to keep the hole from getting clogged up. So I needed a way to elevate the bottle with the hole in the cap above the soil so the small hole wouldn't get clogged. I cut the bottom off another soda bottle and then fit the first soda bottle into it. Now the drip flow is unimpeded and without any cap on the bottom bottle, it has a wide enough opening so the water can accumulate and soak down into the soil as needed. One more thing, I cut a slit at the top of the soda bottle to make a flap so I could easily refill the bottle. I tested this out. The bottles take about 10 hours to drain completely, which gives the plants a nice steady drip of water over the course of the day. And now that the weather is turning hotter, the plants are very happy to get that steady drip drip of water all day. I hope this helps you to get started on designing your own drip system. 
You can experiment with large containers if you plan on leaving for a couple of days. I've been looking into a company called Bluemat. They offer a variety of watering systems and I plan to check that out next. If you have any comments or suggestions, I'd like to hear from you and thank you for watching. Bye!